We take a look at the budget. It is claimed to create many jobs, but the fact of the matter is the country has almost lost 300,000 jobs. And we take a look at our unemployment rates, which continue to be rising. Just a few weeks ago, in my riding, we had Saputo, Canada's largest cheesemaker, announced its decision to close its plant. The result, 190 Bramptonians, again, out of jobs. These are hard-working families that are looking for hope, that are looking for opportunity to give back. We must ensure that as these people struggle in this recession, that there is that opportunity to provide them with job security for the future, with the resources and the skills that they will need to actually be able to go out and find new jobs. We have seen that this global recession really knows no boundaries and knows no barriers. A demographic that has also and often been forgotten has been our young people. This recession actually affected everybody. We only have to take a look at the stats of young people aged between 15 to 24 to realize that unemployment for them reached a record high in 2009 of 20%, the highest jobless rate since 1977. There was a report released called Canada's Vital Signs 2009 from the Community Foundations of Canada, which provided insight into the dire situation that young people are facing. The normally lucrative summer months for these young people, when they normally work 30 hours, during this time of recession, it was brought down to 23.4. We must ensure that these young people have the opportunity to go to university, to go to college, and have the employment that they need during the summer months. Investing in education, investing in our young people, is really about investing in our country's future economic prosperity and productivity. No government can turn a blind eye to these young people and to ensuring that they have the opportunity to get the education that they desire. We must ensure as Canada moves forward that we base the opportunity to go to college, to go to university, not on the pocketbook, but on the desire and the passion of these students to go.